Whenever you're building your fire, you always want to focus on building up, not out. You can notice the flames now are rising much higher. It's building a lot of heat and it's drawing air from the base of the fire upward. And it's definitely going to help me establish a coal bed a lot quicker for my cooking today. So let's work on getting some coals. Now that I got a nice hot fire going, I can start to throw some of this larger wood up here. And that stuff can burn down and start to make a coal bed for me. Now it's just a matter of time. While my coal bed's getting established, I figure I'll take advantage of the time to go ahead and get my water warm. To make coffee, I use my little Optimus kettle here. using a small tripod here. sugar for my coffee 
more coffee in a tin. Got a little spice kit here. Spice up some food. Also brought with me some olive oil, and this one is infused with chili pepper. See all that goodness down there at the bottom. Gotta shake that stuff up. It's gonna be some good flavor with this piece of fish. Put a little olive oil in the pan. There's a few gnats out here that showed up now that I've got a piece of fish. Alright, so the fire lay that I'm going to use with this is what I've always called the hunter's fire lay. And it's basically where you just take two logs and rake coals between them. And then you can set your pan over top of that and it just keeps your pan up off the coals a little bit. I'm using two pieces of green maple right here. That looks perfect. Get this pan on, get this oil hot. I should be able to salvage this fire here and get it going again. And that oil's already starting to get hot there. A nice looking piece of salmon. And what I'm going to do is uh, put it skin side down. The other advantage to using these two logs here is the pan will smother the coals, but this allows a little bit of air to pass between the pan and the coals. and just kind of keeps your coals alive a little bit longer. So it seems to work a little better for me than putting the, the uh, pan directly on the coals. smelling good now to finish off that fish I have me a little bit of lime here that should taste great should be perfect All right, it's finally time to eat. This is almost too fancy to be eating in the woods. Some good stuff right here. Always gotta give thanks. All right, let's see if this is worth eating. These are the little chopsticks that I carved in the last video. Yeah, that's good stuff. Cooked up perfect. A little bit of pepper flavor from that olive oil, black pepper. A little bit of tang from the lime. A little bit of smoke flavor in there. That's good stuff. You know, of all the things that I do in the woods, I think my favorite is camp cooking. I think I really enjoy just coming out here, getting my fire going, cooking up something good. Uh, it's just something relaxing, something therapeutic about doing that, in addition to having some good food. So that's why a lot of times you guys see me putting out these videos with camp cooking, because it's just therapeutic, honestly. I think that's one of the things about bushcraft as a whole. 
is it's not just coming out here to test yourself or to see what you're capable of doing but it's actually the process of coming out here and getting away from everything all your troubles all your worries getting away from the stress of daily life and just having a chance to relax and just kind of connect with nature obviously and uh, just enjoy yourself enjoy the quiet or the sounds of the natural world around you you know as humans we have basic needs staying fed or staying fueled staying hydrated staying warm or cool if it's hot weather staying under shelter if it's raining or if there's precipitation you know those basic human needs and there's something therapeutic about coming out and focusing on those basic human needs all of us in the modern day are probably too stressed things are hectic and uh, i think all of us just need some therapeutic time out in the woods just a chance to get away from it all and focus on basics the things that we actually need to survive and not all the stuff that society tells us we need all right so i'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to tune in for this and i know there's nothing particularly new or groundbreaking about this video just a chance to share some sights and sounds from my camp and uh, maybe you're sitting at home watching this video now and you're not able to get out for an outing maybe you're not you don't have the time or the weather's bad and this is just a chance to kind of maybe tune in for a little bit to to kind of connect with nature in some small way and who knows maybe this can give some inspiration for you for your next outing maybe you cook up something nice over the fire and again disconnect from society and just focus on those basic human needs because again that is so therapeutic again thank you guys for your time interest and for all your support com comments if you haven't liked the video i hope you'll click the like button and the subscribe button and of course you got to click that bell too lots of clicking going on Thank you for your time and interest, and I'll talk to you again with the next video very soon. And until that one, take care and God bless.